Okay then, well as many of you now know that watch this channel, this channel set up in the main to not those that I think are deserving of it. Those that are staying and living and not good at the job and are on our TV screens all the time or playing for our sports teams all the time and, and great at what they do. Uh, but now and again, you'll realise that we praise people. Um, and lately, the last two or three days, there's been more praise than Brickbats, which is unusual for me. Um, in time, we're going to do more knocking than we're going to do praising. But now and again, there's someone that I feel is deserving of praise. And now and again, I go absolutely over the top um, with, with my praise. So, spoiler alert, this is one of those times. Dennis Franz. Many of you may not know him. All of you should know him. Dennis Franz played a character in a show called NYPD Blue called Andy Sipowitz. And for me, in my humble opinion, it's the best portrayal of any character that I have ever seen on any show piped into my living room by my TV over the last 40 or 50 years. It's that good. I think he's absolutely wonderful. He's won awards. He deserved to win awards every single year of his 15, 16, 17 year run. Don't know how long it lasted. It's not been on our screens for over 10 years now, and it's sadly missed. Dennis Franz is sadly missed from my living room. I just think he was absolutely sensational. He played a police character who was probably, I would suggest it would be right to say, bigoted, racist, homophobic, probably all of those things. But we knew deep down he probably wasn't. We knew deep down he probably had chips on his shoulder because he was an immigrant himself, as in... I mean, Sipowitz, he'd obviously been born elsewhere and come into America, or his parents had. Um, but as the show went on and as each season progressed, you realised that a lot of these failings that he had were within in a way, and he was becoming a better person and a better person and a better person. But he played it with such a touch, such just brilliance. Just The great thing about a character is when you believe in that character and that character becomes believable. And maybe when you think of that character as the person rather than the actor. And that's how Dennis Franzens was to me. I always used to think if anything ever happened to my wife or my children or anybody that I loved, he'd be the one I'd, I'd want to crack the case and maybe also interrogate, interrogate the interrogator. I can't even say it. The person who'd done the damage, whatever that damage may be. He was just absolutely brilliant. The show, probably my favourite show of all time. Um, many people that know of the show love the show I don't think there'll be many out there that have as their favourite show um, it's had great competition over the years and I've seen many of the shows like The Sopranos let me see my list here some that came to mind LA Lord, The Sopranos ER, The West Wing The Good Wife what's that one Sons of Anarchy Justified not many have seen Justified everybody should it's brilliant I'd recommend Justified to absolutely anybody and the list goes on some great great shows there but for me, NYPD Blue was the best of them. Every character in it was really strong. I bought into every single character. Many departed and new characters came on board, but they were all brilliant. He had the wonderful Jimmy Smiths on there for a number of years as, as the second lead to uh, Dennis Franz. I've loved Jimmy Smiths in everything he's been in. I mentioned some there, what? L.A. Law, The West Wing, Sons of Anarchy, Dexter. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful actor, Jimmy Smith. It's a great TV actor. But Dennis Franz, for me, was head and shoulders above anybody. I've honestly and genuinely never seen better. I, would, I looked on uh, the internet earlier today, because when I put this, this video out, I'm going to probably spell Andy Sipowitz somewhere, and I wasn't sure how to spell it, so I looked at it, didn't want to get it wrong. And whilst I'm there, I noticed something about Bravo's top 100 TV characters of all time. I'm assuming it means characters in US TV, much of what we get over here in, uh, in Great Britain. Uh, and I'll quickly read a couple to you. Uh, let me just put the old bins on for this because the eyes aren't what they should be. Uh, they had uh, Andy Sipowitz at number 23 in the top 100 of all time, which in itself is an achievement is very good. I know we won some awards for the character, as I say, over the 15 or 16 years. He should have won them every year. He was that good. But I looked at the top 100 and I thought to myself, how were many of these in the top 100? And how were most any of these above him? But I'll tell you the ones that I would have had in there 
that I think are not so much as equal, but really good out of the top 100. The only ones I would have picked out as brilliant would have been uh, Lucy Ricardo, that'll be Lucille Ball, she was at number three. The great Peter Falk as Columbo was at number seven. Tony Soprano was at 10. J.R. Ewing at 15. Bill Coe at number 40. Josiah Bartlett at number 55. And Charles Ingalls at number 82. They're all characters that I liked and for me played them brilliantly. There's only one within that list, within those I've just read out to you, that I would have had anywhere near Dennis Franz. I mean, for me, Dennis Franz would have been number one out of the hundred, absolutely every day of every week. And the number two would have been, without a shadow of a doubt, Phil Silvers, Phil, Phil Silvers as Ernie Bilko. That was like 25 minutes of gold dust every week beamed into our homes. It was just brilliant. Bilko was just a wonderful, wonderful part. It was that good that you just know nobody else could ever do it. I think Steve Martin once did it and it'd have been okay, but it wouldn't have been that good. Phil Silver was, was just genius at that part. He was brilliant. But for all he was brilliant, Dennis Franz was better and in a much more challenging role. Because Dennis Franz had to put on this persona on a weekly basis of being maybe a bigot and racist and homophobic um, and act throughout all that. Um, but as each series went on and each show went on, he softened and softened and softened and you want to him even more and you realise that he just lived with some demons uh, and he wasn't that kind of person at all but he was brilliant in it so Dennis Franz honestly I had this I'm a bit of a romantic I've had this thing on my head for 20 odd years now that all my real heroes one day somehow I'll bump into them how I'd never know people like himself and Clint Eastwood there's a few in the music business as well that I could mention to you one of them isn't here anymore unfortunately but I won't mention them to you because I've got things to say about them in the future and it give the game away. Um, I've been in America six or seven times. I'm never going to meet Dennis Franz. Um, it's unfortunate, but I won't. Um, but Dennis, if ever you see this, and I'm sure you won't, but if ever anyone in America watches this and somehow gets your details and sends it in an email to you and you do watch it, please let me say from a humble Englishman sat in Great Britain now millions of miles away, um, and a nobody really in the grand scheme of things I absolutely adored your character but I adore you a fantastic, fantastic actor sorry you're not with us anymore uh, acting wise, you don't do much anymore I do know that, because you greatly miss me you were absolutely brilliant and in Andy Sipowitz I for one haven't seen better anyway, if you like what I've put comments down below, if you don't comments down below, just comment, especially you American people, you're not normally backwards in coming forwards. And this is still in its infancy and it's getting no comments this channel. And I'd welcome them, I'd love them. Any comments, please, down below. Thank you very much, one and all.